so I guess here we have, I just put up a video about there being a serious issue with the Acer Predator 300 and really if you watch the video it's, it's I don't think it's the, the laptop, it's the Google Drive file stream. So right now, and the way I have this computer set up, so I was talking about some of the give and take at different price points of a laptop. So with the laptop being only having a 512 gigabyte SSD, I use Google Drive file stream for as much of the other files as I can so that really the hard drive is almost like an expanded memory drive where things are getting loaded in from the cloud in real time, you know, depending on the need, but sometimes it does have these hangups. So my point with that video was that the Google Drive file stream, since it's doing these very low level system processes, like it has access to a lot of your storage. The more on the screen is actually pretty cool. So I would have recorded this video. I had started recording on OBS, but then it looks like the whole thing has crashed. I don't think I can bring it back. Let's see. Let's close this and I'm going to lose my thumbnail because I think the whole storage has crashed. The Google OBS is done and I think if I go to restart this, I'm going to end up in that restart loop. Once again, so let's see, can I close? I was trying to put the thumbnail to this video, but hey, we're, we're, we're having a lot of uploads today. We're having some fun on YouTube. That's what YouTube's supposed to be. It's supposed to be about fun. It's not all about money, ladies and gentlemen. So we're trying to do fun videos that YouTube likes that they're not going to shut down. So we're going to put this computer to restart and I believe it's going to get stuck in the loop. Okay, so it's closing some apps. Now this, hopefully it lets me save. Is it going to let me save? So I'm going to click cancel. And this is going to, yes, this is the Acer Predator Helios. So if you're clicking to this video, you're probably searching the Acer Predator Helios. All in all, it's a great laptop, you know, besides the dirt, which is for me on the surface of it. I, I, it's part of some of the reasons that I got, and at some point I should be coming out with a full review. I just haven't been editing it, but I have been uploading these real life, the vlog, vlog, vlog life, hashtag vlog life. So the Acer Predator Helios, it has this great aluminum touchpad. It, it runs pretty smooth, and these problems that we're having right now, oh look at that, that's pretty cool. It focuses over there, and then boom. So let's, um, I'm going to have to do another hard restart. And this is like the one in the last video. So you do get these times where I believe it's the Google Drive file stream. But fortunately on the restart, it moves pretty quickly. But yeah, the Google five file stream. So if that crashes or has an issue or whatever, so it's really that software that's having the issue. The laptops aren't really having the issue. I believe you would encounter that on any laptop that you get that you're doing the setup. But for these laptops that are in this range of your starting storage is only 256 to 512 gigabytes, even a terabyte. If you're doing any kind of video and gaming, you know, you're going to go through it. If you're just doing documents and just going online, you're not. But if you are doing video editing or anything like that and gaming, it's going to happen. So since I did a hard restart, I think it took a little longer to restart. Let's do it now that it's loaded up. Let's see how long that restart takes. The 4.12. So we're at 4 seconds. Let's see. We're at 10 seconds. We're coming up on, let's see, it'll take 20 seconds, 20 seconds, and 25 seconds, 30 seconds, forty seconds. So just under forty seconds to restart and to really get in it, it comes in pretty much immediately 
So it took took like 50 seconds and we're all up and running. Now what we want to load up is, let's see if, if there's any recovery for Photoshop. So the setting that I have is we can see here I have 65 gigabytes of free space. But if we actually go into where that is, oh, there's Photoshop. There's that. Hey, it saved that thumbnail, but I don't think it saved the other one, so I'm gonna have to remake that one. So if we go back into here, and we see we have the My Drive right there. So if we go into the hard drive, we see Users, Rick T, App Data. If we go to the properties of App Data. Here's an interesting thing. So like I said, this laptop has a 512 gigabyte NVMe M.2 SSD, but look at this. So it's saying its size is 713 gigabytes, which is impossible because that's 200 gig over 200 gigabytes bigger than the full capacity of the drive. And if you know anything about drives, if it says it has 512, it really has like four something, you know, 470, 480 because of how it calculates or because it requires there's there's probably a couple reasons why that's not what this video is about but then we see the size on disk is really 192 so that's a very peculiar file you have where it says its actual size is larger than the drive itself but the size on disk is a fraction you know like a third of what the size is so let's go into the app data and then we see we have local let's go into properties here so we see that the majority of it is in this file here. So there's some gigabytes that are in these other ones, but it's in this local. And I mean, I would go into each one, but I already know it's the Google one. And we see that 610. So there's gigabytes, definitely. We've lost like 100. And the size on disk, the actual things that have taken up the size on disk has been cut in half because there's like 200 now we're at 90 and then the size is 610 so this amplification of the size versus the size on disk seems to be very great here it's like six times the size so if we go into google then we see there's drive fs and we see that that folder pretty much takes up you know 97 99 percent of that that we were taking up so it's very interesting how the software is working. So no, the Acer Predator Helios doesn't have any serious issues. The only issue that I would say that it has, but I knew this at least going into it. And how can I do this? If I open up a <laughs> sad emoji, um, we're gonna, we're gonna look away. We're going to open up a uh, Google slide presentation and we're going to make the background change background to black and we're going to make that full screen because the one issue that there is and you can see this on other reviewers who said this about this laptop but you could see this backlight bleed See, there's some of it down there in that corner and then there's like a little spot some of that is dust but there's one of these spots that's actually on the monitor and maybe that right there so that's the little blurb of pixels see there's no wiping that off that's like in the center I mean it's out of focus there but you can't really see it most of the time you can see the glare a little bit there you can see that backlight bleed in there but other than that the screen looks pretty good and i mean unless you're at a completely black screen it's gonna look fine and other than that this is a solid laptop it runs pretty fast i was just using it to do the motion blur export and upscale some machinima footage into 4k and it took it like a little less than 24 hours but hey it did it it was using its six cores and 12 threads 
and so far so good with the Acer Predator Helios 300 2020 edition.